Hey, welcome to Donna and Friends, and I'm so happy to have back Bobby Bryant. How are you? Very good, Donna, and thank you for allowing me to come on the program and talk about veterans, my well, favorite thing. I'm excited and we're trying to make this a monthly gig and I love that because that'll keep everyone in our area updated on what's happening. So without further ado, I think we ought to get down to it because you've got a few things to talk about. I do. Uh, I've got a couple of things today that are very, very important I think for uh, all the veterans in the Cushing community and, and surrounding areas. Uh, number one is membership in the Legion. A lot of people think that, uh, you know, you're a uh, to be a member of the American Legion, you have to be a veteran and so forth. And that's true to some extent, but the Legion family goes a lot further than that. We have the auxiliary, so uh, the wife or mother of a veteran can be a member of the auxiliary or a sister or whatever. But also, sons of the American Legion, it's called SAL. And you can, it can even be a grandfather or a grandmother that served. And maybe your father didn't or your mother didn't, but, and, and you didn't, but you can still belong. So that's, the, the American Legion family is, can be quite strong, especially in, in a community like Cushing. And, you know, our, our Legion is very strong here. Yes. And we need, we, need, uh, we need to get some more members in, in the auxiliary and, and especially in the uh, Sons of the American Legion. And, and so I would offer anybody out there that would like to, to join and help us, help veterans and our community, to come and join us. They can call me or, or come to the post uh, second or fourth Monday at seven o'clock. Okay, and your phone number, Bobby, for folks watching? My phone number is 918-399-3026. And let's give out the location of the American Legion as well. Absolutely, it's 214 South Noble. Uh, you can't miss it, it's, it's the, the big flag. And uh, we're right across from the Senior Center on uh, Noble and Cherry. Okay, great, all right. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about today was the American flag. A lot of people uh, take it for granted. I go to some of the schools and I talk to the students about it and, and uh, uh, it seems like it's you know, more and more history is not being taught uh, in the school systems and, and uh, we just want to, we, have, we actually have a, a video that we can show for the, from the American Legion if, if any of the schools would like that, I'd be happy to do that. But, you know, the flag itself, uh, all the veterans, myself included, and all the active duty personnel, they always look at the flag like it's one of them. It, it's, it's actually serving our country in, in a special way, and that's why it goes to places at the front of the parades, and it and it and it, and it uh, serves. You know, when you're given the final services for a veteran, uh, the casket is always covered with the American flag, and so forth. It's very important to us, uh, and and it should be important to everyone that way. And you know, just just some of the things. A lot of people misunderstand what you can do about taking the flag to half staff. Uh, the flag is taken to half staff to honor. Uh, you know, maybe a president that passed away or a service member that passed away in battle. And, uh, but what people don't really know, and it's just because, like I said, it hasn't, nobody's really been talking about it, is that there's only two people in a state like Oklahoma that can uh, bring the flag to half staff with an executive order. And that is the president of the United States or the governor. You know, a lot of times people, they'll have a veteran who uh, they would like to have honored that uh, maybe was in, in one of the wars or conflicts and they would like to have the flag at half staff in their town. Uh, the only way you can do that is to ask the governor to, uh, for an executive order to do so. Well, I think that is a very interesting point in fact that you're bringing up there, Bobby, because so many times you'll see where flags have been lowered at half staff and if you pay attention, or you're connected maybe like I am with getting news releases from the governor's office. It's always on the governor's order. Yeah, absolutely. It's, and, it, and, and in that executive order, the governor will tell you what time and day it goes mm -hmm. up and what time and day it goes yes. back to full staff. So, you know, there, it, people just need to know that because it's, it's really not uh, the right thing to do. Uh, uh, the mayor of a community, uh, whatever, cannot do that. They have to get written permission and executive order issued by the governor of that state to make that happen. You know, I bet there's a lot of people that are watching that did not know that. Well, <laughs> and seriously, you know, I, I know, and and you know, we, we like to bring it to everybody's attention because a lot of times, two people won't be they won't get the notice that you do. Right. You know, no, and they right. don't know, and they'll say, "Well, why are the flags at half staff?" Mm -hmm. Well, if if you look around and there's only one flag at half staff. 
is because somebody else did it, not the governor. Yeah, that's probably a big question mark right there. <laughs> you just see one flag in town. And at, 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 I've been known yeah. to stop and ask why. You know, and, and well, very, and I, very nicely, uh, you stop and you say, well, why, why is your flag at half seven? They tell you, and then I explain the, the you know, the, the way it has to be. And people, they understand. Mm -hmm. They just didn't know. You know, I had a business in Sepulpa for 10 years, mm -hmm. and I had a flagpole. My dad's a veteran, and he was very big on having the flagpole and everything. And I would get a phone call from an occasional veteran if the ends of my flag were frayed. <laughs> Seriously, in town, I would. And they would be like, you know, the flag needs to come down and you need a new one up. And I mean, it would just be a little bit of fray. Well, and, and you know, it. our And a lot of people don't understand that if you don't replace your flag as it gets worn, that it is kind of an upset. It's a disrespect. Yes. It really is. And, and you know, you, you, you don't put your flag in the trash. You right. Know, you you can bring it to uh, the American Legion or uh, the Boy Scouts or whoever, and we will dispose of them properly. And you have a wonderful location where people can take these flags, and you you don't even have to be there to no. accept them. No, they can they can take them to our post. We have a, a, a actually an antique mailbox that's yeah. been painted with the, the colors, and you can it's just a flag disposal drop is what it is, and you can just place your flag in there. But you know, a lot of times we'll drive around and we'll see those flags, and if we feel the people uh, just can't really afford, uh, we will provide the flag. You know, will uh, to, to to make sure that it's run, it's flying correctly. And and while we're talking about that, here in town, you have several distinct locations that you do provide flags for. Well, we we uh, our post proudly provides the flags for the chamber of commerce, uh, the school district, all the cemeteries, and I think I think there's like 36 downtown flags that are maintained by us and and paid for by our post, just for the just for Cushing for the community. Yeah. Well, that's a wonderful service, and it's something that I don't, you know, I'm not so sure that people really understand that as well. Uh, something else that's wonderful the American Legion does for this community. Yeah, and you know, uh, again, when I go to the schools and I and I show that video of the of the flag etiquette to the children and I talk to them, what I try to tell them is that you know if you're at a parade and uh, the American flag comes by. All the other flags, it's okay. But when the American flag comes by, you should stand and put your hand over your heart. If you're in uniform, you should salute, render the proper salute. And, and even, a lot of people don't know this, even if you're in the military and you're not in uniform, you should still render that salute because you're active duty, uh, because it's your flag. And uh, a lot of people don't know that, and some of, some of the children that I, I, I talk with, they just go, wow, they had no idea, you know, because yeah. you see, a, and, and I get pretty upset when I, even when I watch an NFL football game, and I see these football players st standing there talking and dancing around, and, and they're playing uh, Pledge of Allegiance and raising the flag, and, and, and you know, it's not right. Yeah. It's really not right. It's to honor our country and honor our service members and veterans. And don't you feel that probably most of that behavior comes from just simply not knowing? Absolutely not knowing. And you know, some of the things about the flag going half staff is really misinformation too. Some people have done it or seen it in the past and so they, they think it's okay. So, yeah. but uh, no, if anybody has a flag that's in disrepair and they need to, uh, uh, you know, get rid of it, uh, do it the right way and, and bring it and put it in our, in our uh, disposal. And once you all receive those flags, you have a specific way. Oh, oh there's, there's actually a requirement for us to treat right. them the right way. They have to be burned. A lot of people, when you say that, they say, oh, you don't burn the flag. Well, you do in a ceremony. Yes. It's a ceremonial situation it, versus what we heard in the 60s where it was, you know, people that didn't want to go off to the war were, were burning a flag. That's totally different from what we're speaking Right, because the, uh, everything has to be set up a certain way and it's yes. done and everybody's in uniform and, and it's, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it's the proper way to dispose of them. You know, I wonder if it would be possible sometime when you are going to schedule something like that, if we could get some footage of that maybe. Sure. To show, sure. To show it's, what's it, going yeah, on. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very sacred thing mm -hmm. because it is the flag and it means so much to all of us. Right. But we realize that you, it has to be done, you know. Right. And it's a ceremony, so.
Well, I think that we're very fortunate here in this community to have an American Legion. Now, you are over quite a few of the, in the American Legions here in Oklahoma and are in contact with them. So how is that going? You know, it's going really, really well, I think, because we've... Uh, We've come a long way in the last since last August when when I was elected, and uh, I have the west side of Oklahoma, which yeah. is about 130 posts. It's a lot of posts, and uh, you know we're our, our membership. We're we're getting our membership back together, and and uh, I think we're going to do very well in the next year, uh, year two years or so. But we need to build the American Legion family, mm -hmm. not just the Legion, because everyone matters. And, and uh, yes. the more we can, the more members we can get, the more we can uh, support our community, our right. local communities. In fact, I was uh, a service officer this morning, and uh, I had a, a young man come in. He's a city of Cushing employee, and he's only been out a few years. And, and I helped him uh, with a with a claim and everything. And he joined the Legion this morning. Isn't that wonderful? So, and and uh, you know he's a I, I got I have to tell you he's a very nice young man that uh, you can tell he served his country with wow. honor. That's so. that's fabulous and that's why I like to have you come on and give these monthly reports. Well, Bobby, we're almost out of time for this month, but you'll come back again and join me for another update and maybe we can get some footage of. Uh, you taking care of flags that have been discarded. Sure, it'll be later in the year. Okay. We can do that. Well, we'll plan that. Okay. All right. Well, you're watching Donna and Friends, and it's good to have Bobby Bryant back on. Look forward to it. The American Legion, a wonderful, wonderful organization here in town. And um, if you're a veteran, seek them out because they've got fabulous, fabulous benefits and reasons to be a member. Now, we would like to uh, have everybody call us. If you don't know if you're eligible, come and talk. We'll find out. You'll, you'll find out, won't you? Yes, we will. He's the man. All right. We'll be back with more after this.